The chief means of dividing the outer self from the inner is self-love. The chief means of uniting the outer self to the inner is mutual love, which is absolutely impossible to acquire until self-love withdraws. The two are, after all, diametrically opposed. Our inner self is simply mutual love. Our actual spirit or soul is our intermediate self, which lives on after death. It is organic, since it is linked to our body while we live in the world. This intermediate self, this soul or spirit of ours, is not our inner self, but the inner self is present within it when mutual love is present. The qualities of the inner self are the Lord's, so that our inner self can be said to be the Lord. But as long as angels or human beings live a life of mutual love, the Lord gives them a heavenly sense of autonomy, so that for all they can tell they are doing good on their own. As a consequence, the inner self is attributed to them as if it was theirs. However, those who love one another admit and believe that no goodness or truth is theirs, but that all of it is the Lord's. The ability to love another as themselves, and more especially to love another more than themselves if they resemble angels, is a gift from the Lord, as they also admit and believe. This gift and its blessings retreat from their grasp the more they retreat from acknowledging that it is the Lord's.